Researchers say they are seeing a trend of women dating down. <laughs> Which what? means, you know, dating a man down. who... Oh, <laughs> man. Down. All right. Really? All right, listen, it was in the prompt, right? <laughs> really? I, said, I, said, who wrote that? I mean, who I say all that? Jeez. Uh, disgruntled. Dating this down. is just the reality of it. So women, you know, we're more educated now, and I think that we're furthering our education. So with that being said, we're going to hold off on the baby making. We're going to hold off until we get that great job. Really career driven. Mm -hmm. And I don't think there's anything wrong with hoping that there's someone either on your level or higher than you. You just don't get it, do you? You don't. So before, right, it was okay when the man made more money to be the one to buy everything, to do, you know, treat you and all this other kind of stuff. And now that you make more money, you can't be that one. The shit's chess, it ain't checkers. Right, you can't be the one to pay for the meal and because you're dating down. Dating down, I mm -hmm. hate that, yeah. What is that about? It wasn't called dating mm -hmm. down. Right, yeah. When men were the breadwinners and all yeah. the other I don't, it's I don't know. Now it's family. dating down. Yeah. What is that? Man, fuck this shit. Are these women expecting the men to cover everything? They they want those breadwinners, so they. That's what it sounds like to me by this particular study. Mm -hmm. Oh, don't even get me started on these motherfuckers right here. I have to date down now. Mm -hmm. What is that? You wanted to make more money. You make more money. What's the re if if there is a responsibility with making more money? First of all, I don't believe in any of it. Mm -hmm. But if there's a responsibility that comes with making more money, accept it. That's not ridiculous. That's not ridiculous to say that. You wanted to make more money. Right. You know, are you going to find many men out there that makes as much as you do? And my point is, so now you're going to, because we hear so much about women that are like, oh, there's nobody out there, there's no one out there, I can't find love, I'm getting too old. Now you're going to sacrifice the fact that you could find that love? You're just a woman with a small brain. Hey there, y'all moving in? No, ma'am, we just wanted to see what our stuff would look like inside this house, and once we see, we're going to move it back to our place. <laughs> Sensational. Apparently going for a run together is good for your marriage, but it just annoys me. It always takes twice as long. She's so slow. Come on. <laughs> now that's fucked up. Sometimes I want a girlfriend, but then I see my homeboy sitting in the car looking like this. I said, listen to me, listen, listen, to, listen. Man, and I'd be like, quiet, man. nah, I'm good. Hey, stop hanging up. Then let me talk. I'm good. Let me talk. I'm good where I'm at. Why are you always acting like And he lived happily ever after to the end of his days. What I can appreciate about Passport Bros is I think it's an effective flag being raised for Western women. The motivation for it is the fact that men are still expected to act very traditionally. They're expected to be very chivalrous. They're expected to be protectors. Maybe they're not expected to provide to the same extent now that women can essentially match them on income. But if that's what a man's duty to you is, to be chivalrous, it's very, very loosely defined what a woman's duty Absolutely. to a man is. It's very ambiguous. And that is why I think they go to places where they are actually taught from a young age how to treat a man. What is your duty to a man? And whether you want to talk about in in the context of the word submission, which I know that a lot of girls don't like, me and her use the word deference instead of submission. Sounds a little bit better. It's like she wants to defer to her man a little bit more than mm. he defers to her, which is essentially submitting. But I would love to know what you guys think. If men have those duties to you, and that's an expected duty, what do you think your duty to men is? That opening clip is just more proof of how men and women are completely different. We, we think in completely different ways. We are not equal. I mean, that, that news anchor, you know, to her, it's completely normal to search for a partner uh, on your level or above. And sure, that makes sense. It's logical to her. But that's just not the way men think. I mean, we, we understand the idea of, of, of being the provider, of taking on that role, taking on that responsibility. But that's just not the way a woman thinks. And if modern feminism really wants true equality to work, this is the type of shit that they need to stop ignoring. They need to stop ignoring these double standards and this type of selective thinking. Either that or shut the fuck up. Look, it's Monday. Hope your weekend was good. Let's have a strong fucking week this week. Get right back into this video. Welcome to Mankind. That girl, that girl's an OnlyFans girl. Uh, that one? Which one? Yeah, I mean, I'll the two that look like OnlyFans girl. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong, but you didn't have to say it. I mean, good lord. Yeah, I didn't want to be presumptuous. <laughs> How much a month? How much? Twenty-five dollars a month? <laughs> Miss, you think you're more expensive than Netflix? Are you out of your mind? Are you out of your?
your fucking mind to charge more than a monthly subscription, no ads, Hulu? Doubt it. Unless her pussy can recite every episode of Rick and Morty, I don't want to hear it, okay? Why does grandma have arthritis in her hands? <laughs> <laughs> you dirty man! <laughs> yeah, boy. Gotcha, bitch! Oh, oh, fuck. oh, Riley's dead. Oh, shit! Oh, fuck! Who's stopping this? <laughs> But you know what they say about the best laid plans. I think this is a perfect real world example of how women don't consider the bigger picture. They just push a fucking cart down a hill and don't consider what's going to happen at the bottom. They don't know how to conceptualize the consequences of their actions. <laughs> Estoy cansado, jefe. It's not looking good, Brev. It's not looking good. This man is in absolute hell absolute this is one of the most selfish things i've ever seen look at her smiling up there and this man is in hell this woman should not be allowed to complain for the next 12 months what what does she have on you bro <laughs> batista bomb her right now What, what, what? Look at her. She's having a good old time up there. She's smiling and you're dying. <laughs> if she complains about dinner, about anything, the dishes, all that laundry for the next six months, I would send her this video and I would just have, a, I would have it on repeat on every TV in my house. <laughs> Look, and this man, woman will say, men ain't done sh for her. Look at, he... <laughs> This is bullshit! For those of you who don't speak Spanish, the clip said, Esto cansado, jefe. I'm tired, boss. <laughs> I got a million questions, though. Did she ask him or did he ask her? If he asked her, did she refuse and then he insisted? And how long has she been up there? It looks like she's been up there for a fucking long time because he's sweating, he's bent over. It looks like he's about to fall over. And if she's been up there for a while, I mean, you'd think that she'd have a little more consideration for his well-being at this point. Does she even, like, she's having a grand old time here, wiggling around. But, you know, does she even remember she's sitting on a fucking person at this point? Is she that inconsiderate? Because it does show a level of inconsideration, the fact that she's even up there. Or a level of delusion about her physical nature that is really common with modern women these days. Either way, this guy's grinding it out like a fucking chant. Hey, hope you're enjoying the video so far. I just want to say a quick thank you for all the engagement that's been going on with the videos, all the comments, everything like that. It's really appreciated. It really helps the channel grow uh, quite a lot. Uh, YouTube's actually pushing the views quite a bit lately, so we're going to reach a threshold where I'm just not going to be able to keep up with the, all the comments anymore. But again, I really do appreciate them. I try to read as many as possible and answer as many as possible. Uh, what do you say we keep that trend rolling? Hey, this is just your daily reminder to like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell. It all helps. It's super fucking easy. Let's get back to the video. Ladies, here's the real reason he won't introduce you to his parents. He simply doesn't think of you as a long-term partner. He just doesn't think you have good genetics and you'd be a bad mother. And he thinks he can find someone way better than you. So whatever your concerns were, these are the real reasons. Emotional damage. I was like, where's this coming from? You're using my vulnerability. You're using yeah. my soul against yeah. me. See, that stuff like that doesn't run. I, I feel like exactly the same. Like I can't stomach myself to bring up something vulnerable you said to me in an argument just to make you angry. Impossible. It doesn't make sense Impossible to me. Impossible because it means I hate you. In fact, it means I hate you. And it also means I, I never even cared about what you tried to tell me. <laughs> I never tried to make your house peaceful. Yeah, the whole time I was there like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking gang, yeah. gang. Yeah. Can't wait to use that. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> tell me more. Yeah. Tell me more, you stupid <laughs> kid. That's what I do, it's a man. <laughs> That's what I'm doing to man. I can't be vulnerable anymore in the own yard. Bro, and it, <sighs> oh, I have trust issues with mm, women, bro. Mm, trust mm, issues. Because, mm, yeah, they always throw mm, in your face. Mm, it's, it's brutal. Why are all women going crazy? I'm single because I ask for way too much. You know, no games, truthfulness, respect, 
Just way too much, bitch. This world's fucking so fucked up. You good? What? Yeah, I'm like extravagant. Okay. Whatever you say. And stop trying to keep people that ain't trying to be kept. Remember that. Stop trying to keep people that ain't trying to be kept. If you're dealing with a female and she's threatening to leave you and you're trying to do all kind of shit just to keep her, and you're trying to bend over backwards just to keep her in your life, that ain't the female that you want in your life. Now this goes for women, it goes for friends, it goes for anyone really you keep close to. And I remember when this lesson really sunk in for me. I was, I was going through some shit, I was sat at a bar doing some day drinking, and I just started thinking to myself, like, why the fuck am I wasting so much time and energy on people who it seems don't even want to be my fucking friend? Like, why the fuck do I give a shit what they even think of anymore? You know, they, they either don't want to be my friend or they don't have the decency to treat me the way I deserve to be treated. What the fuck am I doing? You know, the time that you have is something you will never, ever get back. So you need to know your worth enough to not waste it on people who clearly don't fucking deserve it. <laughs> it's no fucking secret. Life can be tough. The last thing you want to do is let shitty people into your life who are just going to make it tougher. You know, do whatever you can to enjoy your life the best you can with whatever you got. And just hope it works out in the end. Why can't you save anybody? So every time I lost... I stayed down for a second, minutes, hours, days, weeks, but when I stood up, I was different.